Hey folks, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you the process of recording a Zoom session. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, on my screen, I have a basic Zoom session, nothing special. I'm also not using a pro account. This is just the basic free Zoom account that anyone can sign up for. I have created a Zoom meeting and I have invited a couple audience members along and I'm ready to go ahead and record this session. Now, the basic version of Zoom allows you to local record for free. There is something called cloud recording, but to do that, you have to have one of the pro Zoom accounts. And we're not doing that today, we're just using the free version. So if you look at the toolbar that shows up along the bottom of your Zoom session when you mouse over it, you notice that there's a bunch of different icons here when you are the host. And so you can see things like security and participants and chat and uh, share a screen. But what you're looking for here is the record option. And as long as you're the host, you should see that option and you can go ahead and click on it. It'll say recording in progress and go ahead and begin recording the uh, recording the session. When you're done recording and you want to go ahead and shut that off, you can go ahead and click stop. You can also pause it uh, if you want to you have one file at the end that you use with kind of multiple different checks from the same Zoom section. But today we're just going to do the one. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop. And what that will do is as soon as I exit the Zoom session, you'll see this screen pop up on my computer and it'll go ahead and convert the meeting recording. And if you give it enough time to go ahead and process that recording, then you'll get a folder that should have a audio version of it a playback uh, playlist version of it, but most importantly, this zoom underscore zero dot mp4 file, which is the video of your zoom session. You can watch that on your media player. It's also in the correct format that can be uploaded to places like YouTube, or if you're doing this for school, of course, LMS program. One other thing that I wanted to show you before we're done is the process of giving permission to record to a fellow Zoom member who is not currently the host. So let's go ahead and go back to our Zoom session. All right, so I'm back in my Zoom session and for the sake of this example, let's say my uh, co-collaborator uh, co here, Goat, wants to be able to record the meeting. Now on Goat's Zoom, Goat would not see any option to, uh, to be able to record because it's not enabled yet. So what I need to do is give permission to another participant to record. So to do that, you want to click on the participants option find the participant that you wish to give recording abilities to. In that case, it's our friend Goat here. And what you're looking for here is the option that says allow to record local files. So you go ahead and click that. And now Goat has the ability to record. So I could go ahead and say, hey Goat, go ahead and start recording. And as soon as Goat clicks that record button, you'll see the typical this meeting is being recorded a message will pop up on your screen. You can go ahead and click got that and you can see that now the meeting is being recorded. And just like before, as soon as the meeting ends, Goat will be able to have the option now on their computer to go ahead and process and save that Zoom recording. All right, folks, well, that is Zoom recording in a nutshell. Hopefully it is not too difficult and doesn't give you problems. Um, obviously, I was using a PC computer to here to do this. The process on a Mac is essentially the same. I will point out that at least as of the making of this video, the ability to record locally is not something that is possible to do on a mobile device. So if you have an iOS device or an Android device or even a Chromebook, the only option is to cloud record and you can't do that unless you have one of those pro versions of Zoom. But if you're on a Mac or PC, this is a great way to be able to capture a recording of your Zoom meetings. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.